welcome back or welcome today we are going to have a lots of fun because autumn's here and i'm feeling really nice so we are going to paint mushrooms a great great symbol of autumn and the color palette is kind of similar though in india the color palette does not change to warm tones it remains the similar but still there's no loss in enjoying so let's do that and while we watch me painting mushrooms we will also talk about bookish vibe movie recommendations that i liked so let's start with a k drama that i would like to recommend and the name is romance is a bonus book starring lee jong suk yay so this drama is all about publishing books their covers making covers about young writers how is a book made uh, how is a story edited or proofread or about authors it just talks about the world of books and if you are into books this is the ultimate drama for you i mean each and every character was played so 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 well every character had such a beautiful back story with the struggling of the day to day life um I mean I mean just just awesome publication company has five different characters and their struggles they have the founder members of the publication company the male lead has a big secret hidden in him he is carrying the burden for 10 years and that we get to know in the story and the female lead is working really hard to meet her hands uh, ends for her uh, child she is a single mother and the story is so beautiful there's so many book references so many beautiful quotes that i just fell in love with this drama and i could not get over it it's just the best thing that i've watched about books definitely give it a watch um next is a movie called the bookshop that i watched quite recently and loved it to the pieces it's about florence green a free spirited widow who has put grief behind her and risks everything to open up a bookshop the first bookshop in the sleepy seaside town of hardborough england well i loved this movie because i mean like it shows very beautifully how uh, books help to you know initiate friendships how it helps people to communicate it's just not for the people who can't communicate it helps in communication as well because it's a very Uh, you know bad stereotype about people who read that they cannot communicate but they can and it's so beautiful i mean wow and plus it also showed that um how she fought against people who did not want a bookshop in their town and i was like very confused why one would not want it i could not contemplate the reason but anyway it was so difficult it was heart wrenching heart warming in one word it was you know beautiful and it is the most cozy video that i would watch in like october the autumn so to watch like it was awesome great we cannot forget that poets society i watched this recently as well i cried hell out of it so let's talk about it it's about um a new english teacher john keating who is introduced to an all boys preparatory school that is known for its ancient traditions and high standards he uses unorthodox methods to reach out to his students who face enormous pressures from their parents and the school with keating's help students neil perry and todd anderson and others learn to break out of their shells pursue their dreams and seize the day well this movie talks sense i could relate to this movie so 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 well and that's why i cried the hell out of it i mean the unwanted pressure from parents to do something that you don't want to do and to live in a shell always always expect good always expect the top thing is so 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 tiring at times that like the child like feels suffocated and that talks so well about it i mean and it talks about the beauty of poetry literature these are the things you need to live you cannot always live in like in a serious state you need these things to live well in life and it i mean soothed me watch it and then i watched a movie that 
like the name is a tongue twister itself it's the currency literary and potato peel pie society i don't think i pronounced the place's name correctly but anyway i love the movie as well it's about like set in 1946 it's about a london based writer who begins to exchange letters with residents on the island of guernsey which was german occupied during world war 2 and feeling compelled to visit the island she starts to get a picture of what it was like during the occupation it talks about world war 2 and its effects on people and and it talks about uh, literature it talks about book clubs how people used to live then uh, how they used to manage loss and in total a very cozy warm movie it warms your heart it uh, wants to you know a uh, value like wants to value the relations between people and i felt that way it talks about a lot of books that i've read i don't remember particularly but it has been like more than 6 months that i've uh, seen this movie but it definitely talks about some of the jane austen or charlotte bronte's works and yeah it does talk about jane eyre i guess and it was amazing to watch the chemistry between actors were great the romance was awesome you have to watch it it's very nice Well, it's autumn season, and I had to include a bookish and spooky movie both. Then it has to be the movie called Night Books. I enjoyed this movie. It's for children, and I loved it to the death because it's about a child who is like you know scary story fan. His name is Alex, and he is you know stuck with a witch who has like kidnapped her because she likes children, and uh, not in a good sense, but she kidnaps them to like you know to make them slaves or she. like makes them do works and if they don't do it she eats them up or like punishes them something so uh then alex has the ability to like you know weave pretty good stories about you know um uh horror so he must tell a spine tingling tale every night or stay trapped with this new friend in a wicked witch magical apartment forever it has huge libraries the witch has read every single book so she is bored and she wants uh new stories scary stories every single night she hates happy ending it has to be sad so he has to you know make his gray cells work and write stories every night and then they try to get out of there there's a cute uh, not cute i mean a little plot twist over there as well and it's it's awesome to watch it's very spooky halloweeny and a great halloween watch <laughs> Hello hello I hope that you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making and editing this video I enjoyed um painting mushrooms I think they look quite cute and I also enjoyed voice overing and movie recommendations for you you know talking about books is like is like ultimate happy happiness for me and when it is movies about books then it's another level i guarantee you all of the movies are like you know really good you are not wasting your time if you watch these movies and you also the k drama you'll definitely like it i hope you spend your autumn and halloween well happy halloween to all of you in advance love you people and uh, 
also if you like this video do like and share it to your friends so they also get to know really really good movie recommendations for the autumn and i hope you are all doing well stay healthy bye bye